Another artist that I would like to show you, uh, his name is Carnelio Sanadze. And um, what's special about him, this is a wide diversity of his artworks. So here in the gallery, now we have uh, four artworks, four masterpieces by him, and uh, all of them absolutely different. So when we talk about the manner and uh, his uh, uh, man of presentation, his uh, approach to every topic and um, I would say even the feelings that you receive uh, when you look at these pictures, at these paintings. So right behind me you can see fantastic masterpiece that is called their uh, oranges collectors or young girls uh, harvesting the oranges. So this is the so-called program work. In the Soviet time uh, artists uh, um, uh, they developed the tradition, they developed the ideology in their artwork of the Soviet, um, uh, Soviet uh, government and uh, Soviet uh, policy. So, uh, but in the same time, we can say that uh, Sanadze, he breaks these rules. Even the following these rules, he breaks them because uh, this uh, painting is so colorful, it shows so much love and such a great respect to his motherland. It's emphasizing their flavor of this rich and beautiful country. For Dutch school, um, one of the most typical features or uh, specific features was to emphasize the individual character of the each uh, um, um, of the each personage, of the each uh, individual. And uh, here when we look at uh, this old woman, we immediately feel great respect looking at her tired but in the same time very calm face, His, uh, her tight hands from the heavy work. Um, so Sanadze respect uh, putting her on the front on in the front uh, so he shows uh, the great respect to the working class uh, um, that was very important during the Soviet period of course but also he doesn't forget about the landscape he doesn't forget about his motherland he doesn't forget about the beauty that is why he shows us the endless uh, fields of Georgia